Hey, welcome back to Daily Flash. Our next guest is an Israeli-American journalist and human rights activist who passionately supports feminism, and she also shares a crucial message in an open letter. Please welcome to Daily Flash, Emily Schrader. Hi there, Emily. Hi, thanks so much for having me. We really appreciate you coming on the show, especially with your message. Tell us what this message is all about. That's right. So I co-authored, along with an Iranian Muslim friend of mine, an open letter from women of the Middle East. Now, initially, this letter was intended to be from Iranian and Israeli activists who were condemning the Islamic Republic of Iran for their terrorist proxies and their activities, in particular against women, which include gender apartheid within the regime itself. However, once I did that, we found that the Arab world, in fact, also really has a problem with the Islamic Republic of Iran. Unfortunately, it is it is women and children who are disproportionately impacted by many of these extremist terrorist organizations that are, are sponsored by the Islamic Republic inside of Iran. And so what ended up happening with this open letter is that we had an outpouring of other uh, women's rights activists from throughout the Arab and Muslim world who were saying, no, we reject Hamas, we reject the Islamic Republic, we reject this extremism because it impacts us. And I think this is actually, in a way, a really beautiful story of unity from women of the Middle East, from all different backgrounds, uh, Muslim, Jewish, Druze, Christian, Shia, Sunni, we have religious, we have secular, we have women who don't wear hijab, we have women who do wear hijab, mm -hmm. all different backgrounds included in this. Uh, we also have women activists from Afghanistan who have signed on to this letter speaking out against the persecution that they have faced as women. All in all, we ended up with women from 12 different countries, including, of course, many of which would ha which have no diplomatic relations with the state of Israel, for example. And we have 55 women leaders who signed on to this. Now, this is particularly impactful that countries that don't even have relations with Israel, because it demonstrates that this isn't something political. This isn't about what your views are on war or, or anything. This is something that's universal. This is something that impacts all women of the Middle East, regardless of our backgrounds. And I'm proud to stand with Arab and Muslim and Iranian women from all over the Middle East who are speaking out against this form of extremism. You know, uh, it, it, here in the United States, sometimes we think, oh, well, that's how everybody is over there. And from what you're saying, it sounds like that's not the case at all. And so they need our support. So what can folks do if they actually want to help and support this cause, Emily? Absolutely. I mean, I think it's a mistake to think that it doesn't impact the rest of the world as well. As a feminist, I really believe that one, what impacts one of us anywhere in the world really does have an impact on the rest of us throughout the world. And that's why we need to stand together against this. For those in the West, for women who believe in equality like us, we urge you to contact your legislators in any democratic countries and demand accountability. Support the women of the Middle East who are speaking out against extremism, against the terrorism that impacts all of us on the ground, whether it be Palestinian women, Israeli women, Iranian women, or others. Emily, you're very passionate about what you are doing, and we can feel that. And if you want to support this, as well as find out more information, we'll have this interview on our website at dailyflashshow.com. Thank you, Emily. Thank you.